uh, this is the f fifth, fourth, fifth take? Fifth take, maybe? Okay, I moved the first time because the corner was really ugly because I live in a cinder block house. The other two or three times I had to keep fucking with the damn computer because it keeps freezing and other computers are turning on, background on my phone is disappearing as I'm trying to have this conversation with YouTube for my very fucking first time. So here we go. I'm going to be the pagan that swears way too much and drinks a little too much as well. And I'm going to try to do this unedited um, and from a really bad angle. But you know what? It's just going to fly. Welcome all, my name is Christina, um, but I think I'm going to call myself Seka on this channel, S-E-K-A, which in Croatian means little sister. To all, welcome, thank you for watching this um, rant about my current struggle, current path, and um, I'm talking to you because I'm not really a blogger. And I am usually unable to talk to anybody about this because I don't know many people here in California. I have my black cat Odin who is asleep over on the other chair, a glass of wine, and a phone that takes video. So guess what you guys, you clicked on the right channel. This is what it's about. Here we go. I would like to get some input, likes, dislikes on this current journey that I'm going through. Raised Roman Catholic right at this moment, I, for the last probably four or five days, been really struggling with what do I believe made me? What did they make me here to do? I want to start at the beginning, so I'm going to back up to probably like 10 years. I'm 25 right now. I live in California. I was raised Roman Catholic in Pennsylvania. I'm going to talk a little fast because I feel like I've said all of this already in the last fucking five takes. Here we go. I'm 15. Still in grade school. So all Catholic school, K through 8, and my best friend and I will call her Sally. You'll find out in a minute why I'm calling her Sally. Sally and I are best friends in second grade and one evening she's we're having a sleepover and she says have you seen this movie Practical Magic? I say no so we watch Practical Magic if you've never seen it it's about two sisters who are raised by their aunts who are witches and throughout the movie they have to be comfortable with themselves in order for their magic to grow and work and whatever. Okay, so we're really into this this witch thing, and she and I become blood sisters, and um, they're still to this day best best friends. And uh, then we watch The Craft, a uh, great '90s movie. '90s, 2000s. We'll have to look that up later. Somebody Google that and let me know. So we watch The Craft, and that is also about girls forming their own coven of four. I know Coven's usually like nine or so they're coming to four um, north, south, east, and west. And they're through the movie, they're in high school and ups and downs. And now my phone is dying. So hopefully we'll keep recording. Let me plug you in. There we go. You're plugged in. And um, throughout the movie, they're, you know, they're ups and downs. And she has this natural born witch has to become one with her own. Great. So we're 14, 15, the teens are all excited, you know, almost every uh, blog or video that I've read is um, references, the teens are so excited about, you know, this nature-based craft and you can make anything at your fingertips and, you know, have all this power and this sisterhood and oh, it's going to be so great. And you know, at the time, it is. So it's good. Unless you're from a very small town in Pennsylvania that, well, not a very small town. It's the capital. Not Pittsburgh. Excuse me, let's try that again. 
not Pittsburgh, not Philadelphia. It's right in the middle, known as Harrisburg. And so she and I are in this Catholic school, and rumors start flying that we're putting hexes on the boys we don't like because we had been singled out as the outcasts and um, the untouchables and, you know, it's not a fun place to be. I was just cut off by my charger trying to update the software for probably a really good reason because I was starting to go on a rant. So we're going to continue here. Uh, anyway, we are singled out um, by the principal, pulled into his office, and addressed on the matter of performing witchcraft and that is of the devil and a pagan nature and you are in a Catholic school and you will not do this and you will not be spoken about doing this uh, and so she and I sit there politely <laughs> trying not to make a sound but underneath the laughter we just to this day cannot believe the it's just mind-blowing and outrageous. So, this is the first step in my becoming who I am. So, fast-forwarding a few years, um, she and I were always, always, always interested in, in our craft and in this nature-based connection with our spirits and in our, our souls and... Um, just putting that good vibration forward. High school, it dwindled down. It was muted a bit. And now, 25 years old, out of high school, out of the state, have moved, gotten married, gotten divorced. Almost. It's getting finalized. We are still best friends to this day. And now I have started to feel this draw to the world of paganism and have been walking away slowly from the Christian faith. During this past Christmas, we are in February now, I was asked to join at a Christian church for Christmas. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine reading a Bible to a kid who's, I'm a nanny as well, who cares? You know, if this is their family's journey, that's okay. It doesn't bother me a bit. My focus was so far off of what was being said at this mass because of how heavily it was enforced in my earlier years and I feel like watching most of these videos now trying to learn through other people who have found their way on their path that it's through this Christian Catholic culture that pushes them away of all these rules and all of this you're gonna be damned if you don't do this you're gonna be smited if you don't do this my little anecdote here I did not want to get married in a Catholic church. I was I would love to have gotten married in my backyard um, or in a forest, whatever. My grandfather flat out told me he would not attend my wedding unless it was in a church. Catholic church. I find a Catholic church and for the life of me, here's where I am struggling, that I am following this nature-based religion, but at the same time, I'm for forced, I was 23, so I could have said, no, if you don't want it, you don't like it, you don't have to come. But I didn't, because I, never mind Catholic guilt, have you ever had Croatian guilt on you? That's where I was coming from, so I chose a Catholic church and I thought that I was and friends have said Christina are you gonna burst into flames walking through that door out of out of you know uh, humor 
but you know, I thought this is not right. This is, I, you know, I want to respect everybody's, uh, religion and everybody's, um, faith. And at the same time, I don't want my philosophies or my inward spirit to make fun of this whole process. So basically during my wedding, I was scared that I would burst into flames. So for this video, I'm going to cut myself short because I feel all the uh, the energies are, are rising and I'm getting very emotional about stepping backward on this uh, journey that has brought me here now. I will conclude with saying I am very, very excited to learn more about being a nature based soul and honoring whatever life force has brought me here and that for now I will harm none, do as I will. And this is my first step in coming out of the broom closet. And I thank you guys for listening and I'm going to try to edit this a little bit so I'll send you off with a cheers and I'm going to try to do this uh, every Monday um, while I have the house to myself. Blessed be. Lago noche. Good night.